Hey everybody, thanks for joining me again for part four of our six part series on beating the hunting pressure on public land. And today I wanna to give you some information to help you think more about possibly hunting at more off peak times. And uh, remember now that most public hunting properties they get their hunting pressure from locals primarily who mostly hunt on weekends and evenings. So you wanna to try to avoid those times if you can. Now, that means good morning hunts are available and so forth. Um, so the, those times of the day can be helpful. Now, here's another thing. All of us are gonna be in the woods. If you're a serious whitetail hunter, you're gonna be in the woods the first two weeks in November, okay? But you might also consider doing a public land hunt, especially a public land road trip at other more off peak times, such as early season. A lot of states have seasons that open around the first of September when the deer are very predictable. They're in daily bedding to feeding patterns. It's a great time to hunt. I love to go on a do it yourself road trip in some of the states that have openings around September 1st. The last week in October is a really good time to deer hunt because many areas of the Midwest, out through the East, Ohio and Kentucky and so forth, the deer are starting to get ready, but they're not in the full rut and most people are taking their vacation to go to these public properties, say November 5 to 15th or something like that. So the last week in October, it's a great time to call and rattle. The scrapes are really getting worked. That's a good time to hunt. And another third time that's really good for a public land hunt is the late season. A lot of uh, states have seasons now that run well into January or at least by Christmas time in the upper Midwest in the whitetail belt. Uh, your deer are they're done with the rut by around before well before Christmas but by Christmas time usually you got some snow on the ground in most states the weather's starting to get harsh these deer are really focused on the food and their patterns become predictable again so you can go out and figure out where they're feeding and where they're bedding so that uh, you know late December on into January th those late season hunts can really be good for a muzzleloader hunter or for a bow hunter so those are the times to consider to take a trip when the woods are not going to be full of hunters during the rut so the, that's that's another thing to consider so that was point four we're going to go into tip number five on the next one stay tuned for that